Home Track Master, yes, the scenario was very good. When are we going to get into part two? Right. Hopefully. Red Signal had two whites. You usually have to use Bethel, over, uh, Bethel 40 over those as well. Oh, that didn't work. 30 minutes to do some train spotting. I'll go and fix the link in a minute, don't panic. That'll do. I haven't got my controller plugged in, so I can't use that. See here, um. See what happens, shall we? Oh, we've got something coming in, 444. Is that a 450 in there? Yeah, 450. Oh look! 444 and 450 one one What route does the Santa Fe train with the silver coaches belong to? Let me just go and have a look. Uh, Santa Fe, do you mean the American Freedom Train? Or is it an F... what locomotive is it? A quick glance through the slideshow, it looks like it is the uh, American Freedom Train. Sort of a blue, white, black um, steam engine. Got your book ready, Heavy Amtrak Master? Excellent. You know, Simon, if there's no steam in this, I'm going to be disappointed. The Santa Fe F7. There isn't an F7 that I can see in the... in the list. The red and yellow engine with silver coaches. Red and yellow? Have I got one in there? Just looking through the uh No. There's no red and yellow engine. Shazen, is it a diesel or a steam engine? Because the slideshow doesn't have uh, any Santa Fe. The only thing remotely like that is the uh, 
American Freedom Train. The Silver Coaches are almost certainly the California Zephyr set. The only F7 in the slideshow is the one on Feather River Canyon, which is actually hauling a freight train. Do I have Marseille Martique? No, I've only got what's on Steam uh, on them. Can I put a pacer in the slideshow? I probably can actually. Hold on. Oh, the front left, left train on the train on the left there, but now this one's going. Excellent. Do I have tutorials on how to do scripting for train sim? Oh, scenario scripting, yes. Uh, over on my blog, trainsimlive.blogspot.co.uk or www.trainsimlive.tv, which I'm still building. There's always a million and one other things to do. Duchess of Sutherland on Settling Carlisle. Oh, that sounds fantastic. Oh, Simon. Awesome. Kelly goodness. Oh, listen to this. Listen to this. It's just going to sit there now, isn't it? It's not going to move any closer. It's just taunting me. Hey there, Eggseek. I keep hearing things that sound like train noises, but I don't know where they are. Oh, we've got one over here. Here we go. We've got this one coming up. Oh, this one's going to come up in front of the steam engine. Uh, what's my opinion on AP Stumper? I haven't used it. I've heard lots of people saying lots of good things about it, though.
how did how did the camera move in this Arnhem? Uh, I'm using this this thing called Track IR, just this little antenna up here that tracks the game. Come on, Steamy. Looks very GWR-ish, doesn't it? Oh, hello. Pressing side buttons. That's good, I'm track master. Maybe run it next week then. Is he off? He's off. Teasing with me now. Ah, oh, if the steam reverses away, that's rage quit time. <laughs> what do I think of random trips with the randomised button in the main menu? I know some people really like them. I never really got it, personally. But I know some people really, really like it. And that's cool. Got nothing against it. Oh, what are you dreaming up now, Haddock? Expect arrival at eleven thirty six. <laughs> ETA is going loopy. Up, down, up, down. You won't like
Yeah, I know QWERTY Afro used to do a YouTube playlist of random trips. In fact, that was one of the reasons that when um, when it went, the feature got lost, mostly accidentally, when the menu system was redone. And I remember QWERTY Afro saying that he was going to have to discontinue that series. Um, and it was actually because of that that I... Um, that was when I realised that people actually... It wasn't just a thing that nobody used. It was actually used by people for various purposes uh, and was missed. So I uh, I raised it with the team and um, that was how it got put back in again. So something like that anyway. Oh, okay. Wrong turn somewhere, I guess. Where's all the trains, Simon? Oh, we've got Southern 377 there, talking to run turns. Twenty minutes to go for the steam engine. He's off. Got any more coming up here? Got four 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 coming in. Gav, it'll be uh, tomorrow, so Monday. I don't know. Uh, I guess it'll be ETS multiplayer. Um, Everyone seems to prefer ETS over ATS, so I guess we'll be doing ATS. I'm going to do multiplayer once next week, not twice. Um, so we'll be doing ETS 2 multiplayer on Monday, I think. Simon, you should actually run your scenarios and test them. <laughs> Right, Hoppy. I like to have a chat. It's one of the reasons I like the train spotting scenarios because I can sort of relax a bit and uh, answer some questions. You do. <laughs> Why is it running differently for me than you then? Oh, he's off.
The castle will be doing some shunting as well. Oh my word. That sounds exciting. That sounds truly exciting. I'm not even being cynical. I like to see a bit of AI shunting in scenarios because it's a bit harder to do. But it does look really, it makes the railway look a bit more alive. I try my best, Chazen. I try my best. What's my favourite DMU? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> As I say in a lot of these, what's your favourite? I really don't have a lot of favourites, other than the standouts like the 9F and the um, the A4, which have always been my long-term favourites. Which obviously aren't DMUs. How do you get the AI to shunt? Um, you can make the AI shunt as of, I think, TS-13, um, but there are limitations. So you can make the train. You can do an uncouple any way you like. So uh, you can have a train come in, uncouple, and pull away. Um, you can couple an AI to a consist, but the consist cannot have moved at all, or have been coupled to something that's moved um, in the uh, up, uh, beginning of the scenario up to the point you want to couple to it. Um, so, if a train comes in, uncouples and walks off, drives off, and another train comes in, it now can't couple to the thing that left. Similarly, you can't do a run round because you've come in, you've dropped the coaches off, which means that they've moved since the beginning of the scenario. What you can do is have some coaches, if you have a train, a coach, some coaches, and a loco not coupled to them, so that they look almost coupled, it can then pull away and then run round and go couple up and then it can take them back the other way. So if you get, if you get creative, you can do some quite interesting stuff. So a consist must have been static for AI to couple. Yes, it, yeah, the, the, basically the consist cannot have moved since the beginning of the scenario. As long as that rule is applied, then it'll couple to it and it won't smash into it. Are there any more trains other than the steam engine? Oh, I've got one coming in. And then a ten minute wait. What you can do is some interesting stuff, for example, where an AI train, I don't know if this would work, it would be interesting to try it, have an AI train come in and, say, drop off some coaches, like a pilot, dropping some coaches off in the platform, and then you come along and you couple to them and take them away. That ought to work. Um, yeah, in fact, it should work. There's no reason why it shouldn't work. So, yeah, you can do that. That would be interesting. Trains coming from the harbour. Oh yes, we've got one coming in. Oh, and one leaving. So what you can't do, based on the no movement rule, is you can't have the player come in, drop some coaches, and then a pilot can come in and take them away. That wouldn't work. Yes, you can't do the pilot dropping off low coaches for an AI loco because, same again, the coaches have moved and um, the drop off would work, but then the player loco trying to couple the coaches that aren't there. Where have I put the TSL HQ? It's still sitting here actually, I haven't done anything with it at all yet. 
on my to-do list. But my to-do list is this thick. Volume 1. Why doesn't that work? Trains get it done too. Um, so the reason it doesn't work is because the way the dispatch was written in TS1. Um, the thing that controls train services. Um, essentially it pre-calculates everything at the beginning of the scenario. So if anything's changed, then it doesn't work anymore. Um, and when it comes to the player loco, you can do all sorts of... Um, it doesn't matter because the player's in charge of coupling things up. But when it comes to the AI, the driver facility in, the, in there is much more simplistic. So um, it's calculating. Right at the very beginning of the scenario, you've said, at, in, in half an hour, you'll be in platform one of this station, couple up to these coaches. So it says, where are the coaches on the platform? And again, this is before the scenario has run yet. It's on the loading of the scenario. So if the coaches don't exist there, it will just go straight through the platform and, and probably stop at the other end of the platform um, and then fail the coupling instruction. But because the coaches are there and it wasn't expecting it, you crash into them. Um, so it's because the whole lot is um, pre-calculated right at the very beginning, which is just a design that decision that was taken a very long time ago in the way that um, it was made. See you later, Gaudra. And why not play a train to AI train? I don't know quite what you mean. Oh, hello, 150. A player train can couple to an AI train. That's no problem. Well, a few more minutes and we should get some steamy goodness. Route blocked by train. I'll have to give it a go and have a look. Because that certainly should work. As long as the AI hasn't got... Oh, actually, no, you're right. It might not work. Depends. As the AI, if the AI has got no other instructions, maybe put a finish marker on the AI's instructions. That might do it. Hey there, Gamer NL. Hello! I'm sure we've done scenarios where the um, player and the AI try and um, do a joining service where two four-car units couple up and then you drive on as an eight-car service. Was that non-moving AI? No, you arrived in and then the AI came in behind you and then you backed up to couple to them. I'm sure that was how it worked. And that's that done for now. I thought it was going to do some shunting. I don't want to press the close button. All this time waiting for the steam engine, then it's going to abort just as it comes through.
Oh, they're bi-directional, are they? Okay. Wouldn't surprise me, to be honest. Boom! There you go. That's the end of that scenario. Nicely done. Nice bit of uh, nice spot of train spotting. <laughs> Made it to end at eleven thirty. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, right. It is half past five, so I need to go and get some dinner on the go. Um, I will um, be back after dinner for um, a spot of trucking and uh, we'll see what happens there thanks very much for uh, joining in this afternoon folks hope you've enjoyed it I certainly have made a nice change playing farming simulator earlier on there was a couple of good scenarios um, after that is um, yes like I said after dinner is Euro Trucks uh, and we're gonna have a look, wander around some more of Pro Mods uh, 2.1 right then folks thanks very much and I will see you after dinner thanks a lot bye bye <laughs>